Hey, 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 everyone, welcome to my new Let's Play. Yes, I'm going to be showing off a free Xbox One game that has recently came out called Chariots. Now, of course, this will be a Let's Play to the end. If people don't like it, uh, well, too bad, but I'm still going to upload. But people who do like it, you can expect this on a nice uh, regular basis. So just check in regularly on my channel and you will be seeing new stuff continuously. But if you do enjoy this, then please like, comment, and subscribe to this, because you, because then you will know that a new Chariot Let's Play has came out. You can expect a good 15 to 20 minute parts on these, you know, big Wait. bits, not short bits, because these maps, Why am these I still areas here? are pretty. I oh wait, I'm talking on it. I was told there would be a bright light. Where's my bright light? You call this a sepulchre worthy of my majesty? I know the royal catacombs are quite a ways from the palace. But is this the best you can do? Go forth into the catacombs. Find me a sepulchre worthy of my magnificence and fill it with riches. <laughs> Okay, now that we're back into business, where well, you can expect this on a regular basis. This game is a like a platformer, a very, I wouldn't say it's difficult, but it can be quite annoying sometimes, because this, it's, it's easy if you just run through it, but I'm not going to go do that, because that makes the game too simple, yeah? There's no enemies, it's just getting through things. So, I'm going to try my best to get everything I can. I'm just learning the physics here because it gets a little bit difficult, you know. I didn't really understand that you just push forward to lift it up. I thought you have to push upwards. But then you just push forwards. The point of this is to get that dude here. Yeah. He's a dead king. I have to get him to his a worthy resting place, so I have to push him through all these tunnels and for, for catacombs, for he calls it. I have to get him through the tunnels to get to the royal catacombs, catacombs, or however you want to pronounce it. So, what I have to get, yeah, so I have to do, I just have to get him to the other side really, but there's these, I can upgrade him. Yeah, you know, I can find blueprints to get, um, to make the exploration and getting through the map a lot more easier, you know? So, <sighs> I'm going to be trying my best to get these stuff, you know, because otherwise, what's the point of doing this? Because, uh, I'm just getting from one side to another, it's just, just going to be me talking. I mean, when it gets to something difficult, I'll start helping you guys out, of course. <sighs> So if you do follow the tutorial and go down the hole, you're going to find a skull. It's a pretty good skull. Skulls are... No, no. You I'll see, I go down there again I because there's something worth in that hole. There was a skull. Ah. See, I, I don't know what we do. I think it just gives you more riches, I believe. Makes you more wealthy. But of course, discovering all of those will give you a nice achievement, I suppose. I haven't checked, but it probably does because there's three skulls per level. You jump and you pull that. Come well. on. Yeah, so some bits require you to use your brain, yeah, you know. You can't just jump at all in one go, you gotta use the cherry to help you there. <sighs> the game didn't teach me this. It does teach you to you to jump on it, but I love that myself.
Okay. Now. Oh, let's get. Let's finish this mission. You know, I just thought screw the coins, I don't need them at the moment. I wanna get this done over everything done with, you know, staying up late at night to do this, oh it's impossible, you know. It's tiring just to sit here. You may think it's not, but it is. Alright, so I didn't realise this at first, but we gotta jump up here. Jump down, pull them over with a rope. Over here. Bit closer without pulling off the edge, of course. I know now let's do this properly. But if you go too far away from a chariot, you know you can't. You, you, it tells you that you've lost him, but you know exactly where he is because there's only one way. So bad, difficult to lose him. But anyway, same thing over again. And I fucking fell off, for God's sake. <laughs> Ah. Right now. Just gotta push him a little bit closer without pushing him off, of course. Then, you know, get that little extra boost. Oh, did you hear that? There we are. Now the game probably wanted me to jump over and do this, but... Or coins. Let's get those coins, yeah? Whew, he almost fell off four. This game is co-op, so if I'm able to do any co-op, I might get some involved, you know? Well, I kind of lost him at this bit. No, I didn't. I didn't lose him at this bit. And another skull, whoop whoop. Down we go again. Off the checkpoint. Yeah. I'm gonna check what's up here, see if it's worth it, and I believe it is worth it, so I'm just gonna pull them up quickly, get the corners to go back down. On both upgrades, you know what I mean? And the first upgrade we're gonna get is like a little anchor, I believe it is. I mean, I've already like made two parts of this and I'm just waiting to like put them together. So I know what's going on, but... Um... Well, I've got a blueprint which allows me to pick like, that rope I can anchor into the ground so... It doesn't go off anywhere. I can like get the stuff. Or like if it's really difficult trying to pull them up. The anchor. Okay, now we got to get that skull, I mean, like, we don't have to get the skull, but I would like to get the skull. It's like, you know, it involves challenging this, otherwise what's, what's the point of me showing you guys this? Because there, there isn't no challenge, it's from one end to the other. I'm going to push him the other way. Get more other coins. think about it and you know I'm like thinking hmm worth it is it worth it <clears throat> I thought I could like quickly like pull him down and then quickly grab him but it didn't work out for what I wanted it to work out of course oh Okay, now let's get back towards the end. It can't be that far now, I've been at it for ages. Well, not ages, it'll be like 10 minutes maybe, but still, you get my point. Oh, oh, what's this? It still looks like a good ending sign. And it is, not that far away, I guess. 
Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, we got B money. Uh, back to the loading screen. Ah, <sighs> uh, we got a cutscene coming up. What is this place? Some sort of pit stop. Oh, now I remember. This must be the outpost I had built when I came here to plunder the. I mean, tour the royal catacombs. <laughs> It looks like no one's been here in ages. What? what? Huh? Ah! Customers! Oh, I knew my dream would come true. Welcome, welcome. Uh, oh, how did that guild greeting go again? Oh, right, right. <clears throat> welcome to the Royal Catacombs Outpost and Workshop. If there's anything you need, just let me know. We offer complimentary cartography services and free treasure storage in the vault. I can also build and upgrade all sorts of mining gadgets in the workshop. But, um, you'll need to find the blueprints yourself. Oh, and the shop accepts all kinds of loot. Metal, gems, but, but no paper. No paper, no. Paper cuts scare me to death. Okay, so I think what we have here is a nice map, you know, to, like, I don't know, map, like, yeah, but a map. But you get what I mean, like, you know, just show our next levels, and I think there is a shop, but anyway. Uh, thank you guys for watching my first chariot. Please like and subscribe for more. I will see you guys on another episode.